hydrogen why should you start all the time it's not like all the other elements are unimportant hello universe i am helium my atomic number is 2 and my atomic mass is 4 i am located in the first period 18th group the modern periodic table if i describe my properties i will be described as non toxic inert and mono atomic gas and i am the first in the noble gas group by in the periodic table i was discovered in 1968 by william ramsey pierre janson norman lockyer and others i am one of the main non metals which who is a gas and i consist of two protons two neutrons and two electrons my melting point is minus 272 degrees celsius and my boiling point is minus 286.6 degrees celsius because of my reactive nature i am used for filling decorative balloons now it's my turn my mass atomic number atomic mass and valency share the same number which is 1 hydrogen is the lightest element the hydrogen atom has one nucleus consisting of a proton bearing one unit of positive electrical charge and an electron bearing one unit of negative electrical charge is also associated with the nucleus it was discovered in 1766 by henry cavendish i'm located in the first period and first group because of their discovery scientists discovered that my isotopes have different names than common used today the 2h isotope is deuterium and the 3h isotope is tritium i am used to creating semiconductors leds the space and other electronics medically i am used to create hydrogen peroxide hello hydrogen helium how are you hello who are you and why are you in our show i'm part of the periodic table too i'm also the reason why humans stay alive i am oxygen i'm a chemical element with atomic number 8 which means there are 8 protons and 8 electrons in the atomic structure the chemical symbol for oxygen is capital o i'm a colorless odorless reactive gas and i'm the life supporting component of the air i'm a member of calcogen group on the periodic table a highly reactive non metal and an oxidizing agent that readily forms oxides with most elements as well as with other compounds by mass i'm third most abundant element in the universe after hydrogen and helium my valency is 2 this means i need to gain or share two electrons for stability my electronic configuration is 2 in kshel and 8 in elshel joseph presley discovered me i'm located in the second period and 16th group my applications are i'm used by animals and plants in respiration process people compress me to use it as a medicine to treat people with breathing problems i'm used as a life support for astronauts and scuba divers i'm mostly used for industrial purposes too okay i usually don't have any glasses and this is just one special case i'm a chemical element with the symbol fe and the atomic number 26 my symbol is fe from the latin word for iron ferro i am composed of 30 neutrons on 26 electrons and 26 protons i form much of earth's outer and inner core because of my metallic nature i am malleable on earth and ductile i am i'm also a very good conductor of electricity and heat these properties help me become one of the most recognized elements in fact you can see me everywhere for example you can see me being used to manufacture the hulls of large ships automobiles and various machine tools surprisingly i'm also in the medical field i am also used in various surgical types of equipment that's about it i am sodium a chemical element with the symbol na for natrium in latin which was coined from german i have 11 protons and 11 electrons so my atomic number is 11 i am in the first group the alkali metals and the third period of the modern periodic table of elements i have 2 8 and 1 electrons in my k l and m shells respectively so my valency is 1 my stable isotope has 12 neutrons so my atomic mass is 23 unified relative atomic mass units i have 20 other isotopes too my cation is na plus there can also be isobars formed i can be isolated through electrolysis as first done by humphrey davy in 18 1807 this is how i was discovered i am found in compounds like sodium hydroxide and sodium chloride which is edible salt i am a soft silvery white highly reactive metal 
and I do not occur as a free metal in nature. I am the sixth most abundant in earth's crust and I can be found in many minerals. I am usually stored in oil or compressed inert gases so that I don't react with air to form sodium oxide. As you can see, I am highly inflammable. I can be easily cut with a knife and I am a good conductor of electricity and heat. I am not dense and I have a large atomic radius. I am solid at room temperature. My melting point is 97.794 degrees Celsius and my boiling point is 882.94 degrees Celsius. When we come to my biological significance, I am quite essential for animals and most plants. My cations are a major part of extracellular fluid. I play a key role in the transmission of nerve impulses. Hi everyone, I am Calcium. I was discovered in the year 1808 by the scientist Sir Humphrey Davy. The scientific symbol for my name is CA and the word calcium is derived from the Latin term calx, which means lime. Now allow me to help you visualize and learn a bit more about myself. I am a soft silvery white metal and I tend to tarnish or lose my luster in the presence of air. I am the fifth most abundant metal on the earth's crust. I have a melting point of 842 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 1848 degrees Celsius. My atomic number or the number of protons is 20. I have 20 neutrons and 20 electrons. We know that mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons. So my mass number is usually 40. I have an electronic configuration of 2882 and I have a valency of 2. Calcium is important because it is essential to all living things. I am mainly recognized for helping living things to grow healthy teeth and bones. I am the potassium that you all crave so much. I am represented by the letter K. That said, I don't go calling me K. I'll be by my name, potassium. Uh, I am the 19th element in the periodic table. Yes, uh, I'm so important. Uh, I form important compounds that are used in fertilizer and I help muscles contract and nerves to function in the human body. You can melt me if you heat me to 63.5 degrees Celsius and you can boil me if you can heat me to 758.8 degrees Celsius and you can squeeze me because I'm super soft. I was not aware of this situation, but I hope that no one forgot me, right? Right? You know what this means? This means that my situation was in potassium. Why is that the case? Do you want to know? Fine. Imagine getting stuck between sodium and aluminum. It isn't the best thing in the world because people forget about your contributions. But I'm important in many ways. Without me, your body won't function and, and your blood top won't be there. If you didn't guess before, I'm the magnificent magnesium. My symbol is MG and my atomic number is 12. Normally, I have 12 protons and 12 neutrons and 12 electrons, the usual. This means that my atomic mass is 24 years, and my electronic configuration is 282. In a natural setting, I'm found in magnesite and dolomite. Even though I'm considered as a metal, I have low volatility. That impacts my metal melting point and boiling point. My melting point is 650 Celsius, and my boiling point is 107 Celsius. I'm also pretty reactive. An example of this is my compound magnesium hydride. I also have three stable ice types. Those ice types are Mg24, Mg25, and Mg26. In the periodic table of elements, I'm in group two. Because of my position in the periodic table of elements, my balance is two. I'm also in real life in many ways. I'm used to making car seats and power tools. And as you can see, I'm as important as the rest of my 117 colleagues. Cheerio.